everybody. I'm Dan Stribling, and it's really cool to be able to do Truth Tuesday with you this week. So one of my favorite authors, philosophers, and theologians of all time is C.S. Lewis. Now you might or might not be familiar with C.S. Lewis, but of all of his writings, my favorite thing that he ever wrote was the fantasy story series, The Chronicles of Narnia. It's a wonderful series of books, each one its own story that packs in a lot of spiritual wisdom that can, and uh, life lessons and real experience, just like all of C.S. Lewis's writings and all of his thoughts. They're really, really fantastic. They're really exceptional. They take you to a faraway place, but at the same time, you're also seeing characteristics of God. It's really, really a cool thing. Now, there's one specific scene from one of these books that's been on my mind quite a bit lately, and I wanted to share you with that today, or share that with you today, and you're going to see why. So, the thing that's been on my mind comes from the third book in the series. This book is called The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and as you can probably guess from the title, it's about a great voyage. The heroes in this story set sail and they travel to a number of different islands. And on all of these different islands, something unique and fantastic happens. But there's one in particular that has always stuck out to me and especially lately has been just really prevalent on my mind. You see, there's one island on this long voyage that as our heroes sail to it, they find that the, that the closer they get, they enter into this really dark and dense fog to the point where they can't even see the island itself. It's just dense darkness. And as they sail into this, all light around them is shrouded out and they are surrounded completely by darkness to the point where they can't even sail the ship. They don't know which way to turn. They can't navigate because all of those normal things that they're used to seeing, the stars, the horizon, it's all blotted out by this darkness. But it doesn't even end there. As they're sailing around in this darkness, all of a sudden their worst fantasies be begin to come to life their worst nightmares begin to manifest themselves around them. Some of them see images of giant scissors in the air coming to chop them. Others see monsters climbing up over the sides of the ship. Just terrible things begin to come up in their minds. And as this happens, much of the crew begins to be captivated by fear. They start losing their minds. Madness begins overtaking the ship. And it seems like there's just no way out of this horrific darkness. Until until one crucial moment. You see, in the Chronicles of Narnia, there is a character who is a constant throughout the entire series. His name is Aslan. He is the lion, the great lion, the son of the emperor over the sea. And he represents in these books Jesus himself. He has all the characteristics, and I really would encourage you to read these stories and see for yourself. But Aslan in these stories represents Jesus. And so as the crew aboard the ship is going crazy from, from seeing in their mind's eye all these horrific things in this utter darkness, one of our heroes, a young girl named Lucy, calls out and asks Aslan to come and save them. And as she does so, something magnificent happens. A light in the form of, I think it's a dove, I may even have to check on this one, but comes into the darkness and all of a sudden the darkness is broken. And following this light in the form of this bird, the ship is able to sail out of the darkness. And as the nose of the ship breaks through, all of a sudden they can see the waves, they can see the horizon, they can see all those landmarks. And once again, they can set course and continue on their adventure. So maybe you can see kind of how this applies to us in our lives. Sometimes we feel like we live in darkness. Sometimes we feel oppressed and our minds can bring to life our worst nightmares. And yet the answer is calling upon the name of Jesus to lead us through that darkness. I want to read a verse for you. 
We're going to be going to the book of John. We're going to go to chapter 8 and we're going to read verse 12. Now, this is from the New Living Translation, but I want you to hear this today. It says this, Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Jesus wants to lead us out of that darkness. I know sometimes I go through stages of my life that seem darker than others. Sometimes it can just feel oppressive and closed in. But if we call on the name of Jesus, it's his desire to come in, shine that light, and lead us to where he wants us to go. I hope you'll keep that in mind right now as we kind of are going through these really uncertain times when things seem at their worst. Jesus is always there and he's ready to lead us on. So this week, think about that and keep your eyes on the light.